everyone, Jules here. Welcome to this video. So today guys, I will be sharing you this look that I did on myself. This is perfect for moms that are on the go. Yung mga office working moms natin out there na gusto ng mabilis at madaling makeup look. So if you guys are excited to see how I created this look and what are the products that I used for this look, just keep on watching. Alright, so mag-start na tayo. I will be starting with a primer. So that primer is, um, ano nga yan? Refining Makeup Primer ng Shiseido. Next, for the foundation, I'm using L'Oreal Infallible. This is shade Golden Sand. So, one pump muna. So, gagamitin ko tong favorite brush ko ng Real Techniques. This is their Face Expert Brush or Expert Face Brush. Sobrang gusto, gusto ko tong brush na to. Nadadalian kasi akong gamitin siya pag mag apply ako ng foundation. Sa loo, hindi ako masyadong naglalagay ng foundation. Hindi ko kasi gusto yung feeling kapag sobrang kapal ng product na nandun sa loo. And then, just make sure lang na pag naglalagay pala kayo ng foundation dito sa area na to, dinadamay nyo yung mga hairline kasi hindi magandang tingnan na yung, etong, yung nakikita yung demarcation dito. So, make sure na when you apply foundation sa forehead, damay yung hairline ninyo. Kasi may mga parts tayo dyan ng hair natin na medyo manipis, like this one. Ayan. So, make sure na nakocover din yan. Para even ang application ng ating base or ng ating foundation. So, there. I'm done with the foundation. Ayan, you can check it out. Although, I just need to cover this. Little, little, you know... <laughs> that pimple mark over there. I need to cover that. So, paano ko siya i-cover? Gagamit lang ako ng concealer. This is in Honey by NARS. So, gamit ako ng concealer brush para i-apply siya. I want to conceal this area also. Right na to. Gagamitin ko din ulit yung concealer na ginamit ko para sa pimple. Pero dito sa area na to ng eyes ko. Kasi itong concealer na to, meron siyang uh, peach na corrector. Somehow, it will help na mabawasan yung pagka-dark nitong under eye ko. So, kaya gagamitin ko siya para dyan. And I'm just gonna add a little bit uh, more of concealer. But the other shade, ito naman yung custard. Um, this is the lighter than my skin tone. I'm gonna use it to highlight. Ngayon, magsiset naman tayo. I'm going to use this setting powder, translucent powder from Shiseido. Para hindi na mag-move yung product dito. Kailangan iset mo siya at i-bake mo siya. Magdadagdag lang pala ako ng concealer. For highlighting purpose lang guys ha. Not really to conceal. To highlight lang. I'm using the same concealer, yung NARS na Custard. And then, I, I'm just gonna use it to highlight itong center ng aking face. And 
So after ko yung gawin, pwede na akong mag-set ng powder. I'm using uh, the same powder, yung setting powder ng Shiseido. So, proceed na tayo sa eyes. Simpleng-simple lang naman yung gagawin natin for the eye makeup. Since uh, this makeup is going to be for moms on the go, syempre yung mga mommies like me, marami tayong ginagawa. Sometimes you don't really have time to sit on the makeup chair or in our dresser for 30 minutes, di ba? Wala tayong ganong daming time para mag-put on ng makeup. So, yung eyeshadow or yung eye makeup na gagawin natin, very, very basic lang to. So, I am going to use a palette here from Smashbox. And then, this is a very, very nice palette. This is a gift from a friend. It's an uh, all-in-one palette kasi meron na siyang correctors, meron siyang highlighter and con uh, highlighter and contour. And then, meron tayong highlighter dito na shimmery. We have blush and then we have eyeshadows. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, for the eye makeup, as the base, I will be using this brush from Echo Tools. This is very, very nice, guys. Kasi tingnan nyo, dual-ended siya. So, para sa mga moms na on the go, very economical yung ganitong type ng brush. This is from Echo Tools. Bukod sa eco-friendly siya, this is vegan-friendly. Du Dual-ended siya. So, ito yung eye brush set nila. Blending and smudge brush na to. Itong end na to is for blending. And then, this one is for smudging. Itong dulo na to. Ayan. For smudging na siya. This other brush naman, is the shader and the define brush. So, itong brush na to for shading, for applying eyeshadow, and then this one, pwede mo siyang gamitin sa key line and sa eyeliner. Okay? So, I'm going to use the shader brush para i-apply yung base. And I am going to use itong shade na truffle. This one. Okay. Ay, actually, hindi. Nagbago yung isip ko. <laughs> Eto na lang pala. Etong sunrise, yan na lang yung shade na gagamitin natin. Nagbago yung isip. Okay. Babae talaga yun, no? Nagbabago yung isip. Okay. So, I will apply it all over my lid. And hindi ko pa inaalis yung powder, guys, para makatch niya yung magpo-fall na eyeshadow. Para hindi na siya kumalat sa ating foundation. Ay, actually, guys, mali pala yung basa ko dun sa ano, shade. Hindi pala siya sunrise. Nectar pala. Kasi ito pala sa taas. Ayan, ang hirap kasi hawakan. Ayan, ayun pala yung shade niya, nectar. Nectar pala. Sorry. There you have it. So, meron na tayong base for our eyeshadow. Then, next, I am going to use a medium shade naman na ia-apply ko dito sa part na to. Yan, just below. Uh, just above, actually. Just above the crease area. Pero not extending to the brow bone. Okay? So, dito lang sa area na to. So, natin ia-apply ang medium shade ng eyeshadow. So, for the medium shade, I wanna use this truffle. Ayan, tama na tayo yung truffle. Ito yung gagamitin ko. And then, I'm gonna use the blending brush. So, pwede ko pa yung i-level up ng konti. Uh, dadagdagan ko siya netong metallic violet. Ano? Uh, ano ba yan? Mali-mali yung basa ko. Light wave. Light wave siya. It's also a medium shade. Pero medyo shimmery naman siya. Ayan. 
So, medyo shimmery na bronze siya. For this part naman, it doesn't really matter whether it is matte or shimmery. Depende na lang sa preference ninyo. Basta any shade na medium. So, that's it. That's the medium shade. Now, for the last part of this eye makeup, I am going to use the darkest shade naman. So, dito sa palette na to, nag-isang palette na lang ako para nandun na lahat ng kulay. Okay, so meron ditong blackout na shade. It's a black eye shadow. Ito yung gagamitin ko for the definition. This is the trick. Most of the women, they find it really hard to put eyeliner. Diba? Kalamihan nga yung struggle eh, yung eyeliner. How do you put a very perfect eyeliner? Ngayon, if beginner ka sa makeup and you want to uh, define your eyes, this is one trick that I could share with you. Kung hindi ka pasanay sa mga liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner, you can use an eyeshadow. A very dark eyeshadow. It could be dark brown, um, black, or gray. Pero dark gray or dark blue. Those will do para ma-define mo yung eyes mo without um, feeling that struggle of using an eyeliner. As you can see, this is a black eyeshadow and this is what I'm gonna use to define my eyes instead of using an eyeliner or a liquid eyeliner. And I'm gonna use a flat brush. This is an eyeshadow brush. Usually, I start sa middle. There. So, kita niyo ba yung difference dito sa aking eye na meron ng black eyeshadow compared dito. So, mas na-define na tong part na to ng eye ko kesa dito sa kabila. If you wanna make it a little bit smoky, pwede mo naman siyang i-extend dito sa baba. I'm gonna use a mirror. So, you can extend it here para lang ma-define tong ilalim ng eyes. So, medyo may pagka-smoky effect na siya. If you want to intensify the color, you can also wet your brush and then sa kanyo siya i-apply para mas black yung kulay niya or mas dark yung color niya. There. So that is it. That's the easiest way for you to do your eye makeup. Tatlong colors lang yung kailangan ninyo. One na light, one na medium shade, and one na dark shade. Yung dark shade, yun yung gagamitin yung pang eyeliner. Especially if hindi pa kayo sanay mag-liquid eyeliner or mag-gel eyeliner. Okay? So, I'm ready to remove the powder. Okay, tanggalin ko lang yung powder. So, na-remove ko na yung mga powder sa face ko, yung pinang-bake natin. Next kong gagawin is yung kilay ko. So, ibabrush ko lang muna yung aking eyebrows with a spoolie or with an eyebrow brush. And then, I am going to use this K-Palette Liquid um, Eyebrow Tint. Eyebrow Tint Pen. 1D Tattoo siya. So, this is one of actually my favorites. And from K-Palette. One of my favorites eyebrow products. Sobrang gusto ko to na ginagamit din sa mga clients ko. Kasi, very natural lang kasi siyang tingnan. Especially sa bride. So, maganda siya talagang gamitin. Very, very little product lang on the eyebrows. And then, since yung hair ko is lighter right now, I want to make my eyebrows, uh, the eyebrow hairs as close as possible to my hair color. So, I am going to use this brow mascara from Sunny's, Sunny's Face. And this is in the shade of Ash Brown. Comes with a very cute applicator. So, gumagamit ako ng brow mascara para matim yung aking eyebrows. Para in place sila. 
Kasi isang direction lang yung mga buhok. So, ready na akong mag-bronzer. Alright, so for the bronzer, I'm using NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is the NARS NARS Laguna Bronzer. Nagbo-bronzer naman ako. I use a fluffy brush to just, you know, bring back the color. Kasi tendency, when we apply foundation, masyadong nagiging tail. Okay, so usually number three ang motion ko. So, from the temples to the cheekbones and then the jawline. So, nakakaliit din to. Nakakatulong din to para mapaliit yung jawline nyo. Kung problema nyo yan, ako sometimes, gusto ko siyang hindi ganun ka-prominent. So, I put bronzer here. Just make sure lang na yung bronzer na gagamitin nyo is not shimmery and not too red. Okay? So, just get a matte bronzer. Ayan. Para kung nare, maliit yung mukha. Tapos, you can also use the bronzer here sa neck para magmukhang mahaba ang inyong leeg. Ayan. Then, para mas magmukhang maliit din yung noo, kung ayaw nyong mag-contour, you can also use the bronzer. Medyo naka, nakakatulong din siya para maliit ng konti yung face. Then, sa side ng nose. So, this actually brings uh, brings back the warmth on your face. Then, I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Then, my favorite mascara is next. Alam niya naman na hindi nawawala ang mascara sa aking makeup routine. I always make sure na magmamascara tayo. For me kasi, this really helps to open up the eyes. Kaya hindi ko talaga ito nakakalimutan. Kahit na wala akong eye makeup, basta meron akong mascara, I'm good. So, after ng mascara, I will be putting on some blush naman. So, we will still use the same palette na ginamit ko kanina. For the blush, I'm going to use this smaller um, round brush na fluffy din. And I'm going to choose this color, yung carnation. The one in the middle. Or I might mix it with this. Imi-mix ko silang dalawa. So, the way that I apply my blush, I sweep it up sa temples. Ganun. The blush kasi has to be closer to your eyes, not sa mouth. Okay? Alright, so for the lips naman, guys, I am choosing a color na very close sa aking lips. Uh, I'm going to use a cream lipstick. This is from Revlon. It's shade Sassy Mauve. This is the color. That's it. I'm happy about this already. I like this color. It's so flattering. Sa lips, hindi siya ganun, hindi siya ganun ka-loud. Hindi rin naman ganun ka-demure yung kulay niya. It's just right. The color is just right. So this color is perfect for office, for errands, or if you have day events, this color is perfect. And this makeup is actually just right. So, I'm using pa lang yung hair ko, guys. And um, I'll be right back. Meron pala akong gustong i-add, guys. Nakalimutan ko kasi nakita ko yung highlighter. Nakalimutan ko siya. Well, this one naman is optional na. If you want to add highlighter, you can. But for me, I want to add highlighter. So there you have it. I'm gonna use this Advanced EB Highlighter, Blowout Highlighter ng Everbelena. So this one is a good, good highlighter. Very good highlighter na siya for its price. Um, as far as I can remember, that's 199 pesos lang sa Watsons or sa department store. So I'll just put a little bit of highlight here.
There you have it, guys. This is the look. This is the final look of our makeup for moms on the go. This is perfect for office, for errands, or for events na pupuntahan ninyo. Madaling madali lang siyang gawin. Lalo na yung eye makeup na usually doon tayo nagsastruggle sa eye makeup kasi sometimes yung mga nakikita nating ways of putting eyeshadow or eye makeup is very, very complicated. What I shared with you is very basic. Tatlong shades lang ng eyeshadow ang kailangan ninyo para makapag-create kayo ng isang magandang eye makeup that would make your eyes pop. Or if you have it, guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, especially sa mga mommies na kakilala ninyo. Baka makatulong to sa kanila. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell para updated ka sa mga bagong videos. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing for your family and for your loved ones. Thank you so much for your hard and your hard work. Thank you again, guys, for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.